Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, this is so great. Oh my god, we have such a great studio audience. I don't know why most of our acts are hanging out in the green room. They think that they're really cool not being in the studio audience right now. They should be in the studio audience though. Or else how are they gonna watch the show? How are they gonna watch the best show on community access television in the world? Woo! Don't you guys see the guy with the applause sign over there? Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to cheer for that. I see that. Oh, sorry. You guys aren't gonna, you're still not gonna cheer? Wow, this is the toughest audience we've ever had. <laughs> I'm fucked up on CCTV. This is a bad night for it too, because I don't know if you guys are aware, this is actually the one year anniversary of Foked Up on CCTV. And so because of that, we're doing a Valentine's Day special about our love for community television. <laughs> we really love community television here on CCTV. I just got the thumbs up from our producer, Peter Levine. Crew, normally I would probably rope into co-hosting this with me on a day like this, but he's sick. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah, you guys are getting it now. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm terrible at writing love songs. This is a song about how I can't write love songs. Na 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 na. Most songs are lies Designed to mine some deeper truth Although honesty is prize There is no burden of proof Give ourselves the metaphors because they open doors to stories of our misspent youth. And I wonder why I can't just write a love song. songs are lies Like I could look in a blue eyes And see oceans or tall waves of caressing emotions Or I could just see photons Emotions are not waves, and eyes are only water when they're tearing up. Yeah, eyes are only oceans when allied noses are confronted with sneezing dust. Songs are cliches, sweet nothings whispered by sad boys trying to get laid, or Swedish production teams making money getting paid. I'm not trying to question anybody else's self expression, I'm just one of them. Thanks guys. I've got another song. 
This one is not Valentine's Day related, but it is about things that have been going on in the world. I'm not gonna bother introducing this. I'm just gonna say that I wrote this three days ago, and so I might completely mess up the lyrics at some point. But it doesn't matter, you know? It's only a million and a half people who are watching this at home. <laughs> so I don't know if you follow the news, but everybody's a Russian spy now. Every warm-bodied hottie Every naughty Nelly is a Russian spy now. And anytime anything gets fucked up, well, it's because of a Russian spy now. And that guy on the internet who disagrees with you about electability, well, that guy's a fucking Russian spy now. But those guys who fucked up the Iowa caucus and actually made your democracy look like some Russian shit, they're not Russian spies. And those guys on TV telling you that the other guys who want to give you health insurance are Russian spies, those guys are the good guys. And anytime anyone tries to tell you otherwise, well, they're just spurting out your money so you can stay warm in the winter that guy's not a russian spy either and if someone is anti-war or they're disinterested in settling beltway scores well then they're probably a russian spy and <laughs> If they tell you that Russian spies aren't to blame for all your problems, well, that's a dead giveaway that they're a Russian spy. And nobody in the legacy media is a Russian spy. But plenty of people in online media are in fact Russian spies. And those people in online media feeding you lies and crying wolf. Well, it's all cause of their Kremlin ties And the oligarchs who wanna buy your elections They are all upstanding citizens And the senators who need Viagra to maintain their erections At least the democratic ones, they are all true Americans and those NSA spies who hoover up your emails while they promote American values without fail In their strong arms they carry them And that guy who beat me out in a rout for that promotion that I thought was mine Well that motherfucker is a Russian spy And those girls who twirl their hair and don't want to go on dates with me well, those girls are Russian spies, too. And that schmuck who cut me off on the freeway the other day. Well, if you're not following me, I can give you a clue. He eats borscht. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. First up, we've got Pratik Padar coming right at you. I think that about sums up the state of American politics. Oh. Y'all hear me okay? Yeah. Sweet. Should I like move this thing up a little bit? Yeah, well, I did it. So. So, hey, um, my name is Pratik. 
Thanks for hanging out, everybody. <laughs> and uh, this is a song I wrote. It's called Diamonds. It's very depressing. Don't you tell me That you don't know How it burns To cry alone When the sunset fades And all you've got Are the tear-stained sheets And your racing thoughts there's always strings left untied. And there's always one more last goodbye. Then this world will break you if you don't allow your knees. Hit the floor. The stars ain't diamonds. And rain ain't tears. Love don't last a thousand years. We build our walls. We lock our gates. But we'll all be in the dirt someday I knew this dancer dressed all in Dug her nails into my back. But she pulled away by and by. It's times like these I remember why the stars ain't diamonds, the rain ain't tears. Love don't last a thousand years. We build out walls. We lock our gates. But we'll all be in the dirt someday. That was the part I might mess up. Someday we'll all be in the dirt someday. Yeah. 
song? Yeah. Is it two songs? Four. Four? Oh, perfect. Cool. So. Tune this a little bit. Just changed my guitar strings today, so they're a little bit on the loosey goosey side. Not in a good way. Meanwhile, my car has been bugging me for an oil change for at least the past couple of months, and I'm like, mmm. <laughs> Respect you for stating your needs, but uh, we're just going to hold off on that for a little bit. <laughs> any better <laughs> anyway y'all want to hear a new song once I get done tuning Woo! sweet Ooh, there we go so um, back in October my uh, girlfriend dumped me and uh, which, you know, was eh. Uh, and, then <laughs> and then she ghosted me, which really sucked. Um, and so I was like a miserable bastard about it for, you know, a good solid couple of months. Uh, and then um, now I'm slightly less of a miserable bastard. And then I wrote the song about it, kind of. So this song's called Still On My Mind. It's dedicated to anybody who's uh, still healing from a breakup. Wish I'd died the day I met you Wish my heart had ceased to be Before I ever called you lover Before you ever thought to leave Cause you're still on my mind Still on my mind You're still on my mind Still on my mind Right now, you're probably out in the city Another man buys around for you and your friends. And he smiles because all that he wants is to hold you. And you smile because you already know how this ends. And you're still on my mind. Still. On my mind, and you're still on my mind, still on my mind. And I know that you don't even wonder where I am. Or how many nights that I cry You were my world I gave you everything I had Now I'm singing about you to strangers When the music is over I'm hoping that they will be kind But you're still on my mind Still on my mind You're still on my mind Still on my mind You're still on my mind
still on my mind You're still on my mind In uh, retrospect, I really should have um, paid attention to the red flags. Like, she didn't like pineapple on pizza. Which is usually a deal breaker for me, but you know, I wanted to get laid, so. <laughs> Anyway, anybody uh, here got siblings? Yeah. You can raise your hands, come on. Yeah. Nice. Anybody here got younger siblings? Yeah. Okay, so these. Anybody here the oldest child in the family? <laughs> Sucks, doesn't it? It's awful. <laughs> so this song was, um, well, I have a, I'm the oldest child in my family and I have a younger brother who I love very much. And um, the song was not so much inspired by him as by like his idiot friends. <laughs> Because I don't know what it is with younger siblings, but just their friends are such dumbasses. But I'm getting ahead of myself. There's like a whole story to it that takes like time, you know, so. So what happened was this would have been about like uh, four years ago. And uh, at the time I was living in Boston, but um, my brother was living in Michigan, several thousand miles away. And um, I kind of hated Michigan. He was living in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I don't know if we have any people in the audience who know what Kalamazoo, Michigan is like. The Gin Blossoms still play there on tour, so if that gives you any idea. Yeah, Gin Blossoms. <laughs> but uh, my brother did not enjoy it in Kalamazoo, Michigan, um, and he was having an awful time. Uh, so awful that he decided the best thing to do would be to get as drunk as possible, as often as possible. Um, and a lot of his friends thought this was a really good idea too, so usually after work they'd all go down to the local bars and drink until they were sick or um, nearly dead in some cases. And this went on for a while until my brother woke up one day and realized he still hated his life. And uh, funnily enough, all that drinking really hadn't uh, helped him hate it any less. And he was feeling a bit lost, so he got on the phone and he called my mom. And he said, Mom, I don't know what to do. And my mom said to him, well, if you uh, move back in with your father and I, you can stay with us as long as you like until you get your head on straight. No questions asked. So my brother packed up all his stuff, uh, moved back halfway across the country from Michigan to Massachusetts. He moved back in with my folks, got a new job, started seeing a really great therapist that he still sees. And uh, yeah, now he's the happiest that I've ever seen him, so I'm really proud of him. But like I said, this song is not about my brother. This is about his dumbass friends. It's called The Gang's All Gone. No one likes you when you're stoned. They just hate to be alone. But not so much they'll take you home oh. No one likes you when you're drunk But you're too big to call a punk You sail that ship until it's sunk No one likes you when you're drunk 
Find a bar, find a girl, drink your beer, rule the world. Stay up late, drive home high. Forget your job, forget the bills, run your mouth, chase the thrills. I swear that this is gonna be your year. Gang's all gone and you're still here. No one wants to be like you. Bloodshot eyes and a broken tooth. Growing up is hard to do But no one wants to be like you So find a bar, find a girl Drink your beer, rule the world Stay up late, drive home high Forget your job, forget the bills Run your mouth, chase the thrill when that this is gonna be your year The gang's all gone and you're still here In this town Where all you do is drive Away from every lifeline you've been thrown A bottle's not a place to build a Find a bar, find a girl, drink your beer, rule the world. Stay up late, drive home high. Forget your job, forget the bills, run your mouth, chase the thrills. I swear that this is gonna be your year. The gang's all gone and you're still. Here, you're still here, you're still here, the gang's all gone and you're still here. Woo! Thanks, Ralph. So I released that song uh, almost a year ago now, actually. So you can find it on Spotify and Apple Music and all that nonsense. Do I have time for uh, one more song? Yeah. Sweet. Four songs, four songs. Cool. Thanks, man. And uh, thanks again to Callum for inviting me to be a big part of this. Woo! Well, you guys can applaud for a little bit better than that for him. Come on. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so this is going to be my last song. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. I won't bore you with too much self-promotional stuff, but, you know, suffice it to say, my music's on, like, the cloud, whatever the <laughs> heck that is. Um, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, all of that. I'm um, on, like, Facebook and Instagram and all that jazz. And this is a song about seasonal depression. It's called Springtime. <laughs> Then the springtime was arriving Clouds were white instead of gray Snow ran down into the gutters And the crocuses woke up to start the day And I couldn't help but smile 
Even as my eyes were growing wet Turn my face to the horizon Try to slow the beating in my chest So give me blue skies in a bottle Give me sunshine in a pill Give me smiles and give me laughter In a jar I can keep on my windowsill Cause when the world starts getting colder I'll feel a decade older, you know I will So give me blue skies and a bottle Give me sunshine and a pill Was it what my parents taught me? Was it just how I was born? Cause I'm always counting all the lines around my eyes against the things I haven't done. And every pebble on the sidewalk, every blade of grass that tickled my bare toes is gone, is always gone too soon. Somewhere I can't go. Give me blue skies and a bottle Give me sunshine and a pill Give me smiles and give me laughter In a jar I can keep on my windowsill Cause When the world starts getting colder I'll feel a decade older, you know I will So give me blue skies and a bottle Give me sunshine and a pill. Y'all want to try singing one? Well, don't all at once now, jeez. That's more like it. Come on, I know it's a twisty sounding chorus, but it's actually a lot easier than it sounds. Here, I'll show you. So give me blue skies and a bottle. Give me sunshine and a pill. See, that's the first line, there you go. Give me smiles and give me laughter. In a jar I can keep on my windowsill. Oh, wait, like we have some like interpretive dancing going on. <laughs> Cause when the world starts getting colder, I'll feel a decade older, you know I will. <laughs> so give me blue skies and a bottle. Give me sunshine and a pill. All right, now let's all try it together, actually. So give me blue skies and a bottle. Give me sunshine and a pill. Guys, I know it's a Wednesday, but you can do better than that. Give me smiles and give me laughter. In a jar I can keep on my windowsill. There you go. Cause when the world starts getting colder, I feel a decade older, you know I will. So give me blue skies and a bottle. Give me sunshine and a pill. Now we tag it. Give me blue skies and a bottle. Give me sunshine and a pill. Woo! Thanks, Joe. My name's Fatigue. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah. No, you gotta you got stay up there. Oh, okay. You've got to do an interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, there will be a sh short interview. Short interview, okay. A very short interview. <laughs> I just banged this mic. I'm sure whoever was listening at home could hear that, like, pop or whatever. You know who this bear kind of reminds me of, Pratik? Who does it remind you of? It reminds me of that character from that song, uh, The Gang's All Gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like... <laughs> anyway, who a I usually have a, a co-host on this show. I, I get like a guest co-host, but this time my guest co-host dropped out last minute. So I have a new guest co-host. Barry the Drunken Valentine's Day Folked Up Anniversary Bear. <laughs> 
who just got his pupils dilated, apparently. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's, like, really hung over this bear. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything you want to ask? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the bear? Yeah, do you, would you like to ask Barry the, the folks on the anniversary <laughs> Valentine's Day drunken bear any uh, any questions? Uh, what do you think of the Democratic primary so far? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, I think that Klobuchar is going to win. <laughs> She's got so much charisma. I like it when she throws the staplers at her staff members. <laughs> What, you didn't hear about that? Yeah, she throws staplers at her staff members. She's a lady after my own heart. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> um, soda or pop? I like beer. Thank you very much. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> All right, that was our first interview portion. Thank you for taking time. <laughs> Next up, we have we have the skirts. Yeah! Who I guess are about to run and, and grab their instruments very quickly. Yeah, we are. And so while that's happening, this bear is going to jump up and down. Wow. <laughs> also, if you guys look behind you, you can see some amazing effects happening on screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a big round of applause for the skirts. That's wild. Oh, uh, <laughs> straw poll, should I sit or stand? Let's give you this one. Everyone yell their answer at once. Oh, right. Right. I don't know what any of you just said. Yeah. I'll stand. I'll stand. Oh, 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 oh. What's our plan here? Hi, we're the skirts. Thank you, we love you too. Hi. Are we ready? Nope. <laughs> One of my finger picks is coming off. I don't usually play with finger picks. Cool. No, no one say a word until we're ready. Okay, ready. <laughs> yeah, I got it.
questions? All right, we're going to keep going. All right, anyone else? Would you mind shifting that way just because I'm scared it's going to hit my head? <laughs> Hi, we're the skirts, and you I might get smacked in the head. <laughs> Susanna, you're probably about the right distance from the mic, but if you could get a little bit more, like, in front of it. Yeah. Like, towards it. Which mic? Right. Bo <laughs> yeah, the vocal mic. I'll bring it up towards me. Yes. So we're the skirts. Actually, we're not the skirts. I mean, we're the skirts. Like, right <laughs> well, it's yeah. we're the skirts special folk punk edition. AKA oh, yeah. the mini skirts. Normally we're a three-piece <laughs> punk band, but ordinarily. Anyway, yeah. Anyone feel old like I did just then? Yeah. <laughs> the song's about that. Ready? <laughs> oh, T. Susanna, you count that one in. Hi, I'm Susanna, and I counted that one in. <laughs> Who are you? Tell, tell them. I'm Josie. I'm Willow. Yeah, they are. Yeah, we Together are. we make the skirts. All right, all right. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six? We're doing skylights, right? Skylights. All right, all right. This one's going out to anyone who's ever thought, hey, I'm really good at this thing. No, what capo am I supposed to be on? Six. six, one, two, three, four, five, six. What, give me your dough. What's going on here? You're on seven. Thank you. Hi, I'm the front person of this band and I have terrible depth perception. And it's been a really long day. Um, okay, anyone out here ever thought I'm like really good at this thing? What if I tried to make money doing it? Like, anyone ever thought, like, what if they try to like, monetize on their like, actual talents? Because that never works out well for me. <laughs> as soon as I'm supposed to do something, I just stop doing it. Um, so this song's about that. The one time I tried to have a crocheted scarf, like, side hustle enterprise. It's called Skylights. One, two.
song, though. Because then I'll forget how to play it. Thank you, Mars, for laughing. Give it up for oh, studio audience. Give it up for yourselves, everyone. Yeah. Studio audience, everyone. We have one of those. It's wild. Oh, we're so exploiting that fact for this next song. You all have to participate. You have to. You all signed waivers, right? Um, Capo. Me too. Thank you. Before I start guessing randomly. All right. Now, we're the skirts. We oh, no, no, I'm just making sure we're all clear on that. Stalling because I'm catching my breath. We're playing a bunch of shows coming up. Find us, ask us how. But if you remember the Here Come the Skirts bit, you'll find us on the internet. HereComeTheSkirts.com, Facebook.com slash Here Come the Skirts. Yeah, it's not We Are the Skirts, contrary to popular belief. It's Here Come the Our Skirts. Our friends paraphrase it a lot, which I think is leading to some confusion in the community. <laughs> Anyway, there go the skirts. There go the skirts. We were the skirts. Uh, okay, this one some of you have heard before. If you know it, you're under like literal contractual obligation to help, okay? Okay. Ready? Who starts? Oh, shit. You do. I do. Okay, sure. <laughs> I wrote it. That feels fair. We've been the skirts. Wait, I, I just started playing Skylights again. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a long day. Yo, Callum, help. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. Not just a glancing blow.
all of our fans usually feel after a show. That's how we feel after a show. You quote me on that. I don't know how we're gonna do this. That's all we can figure seats. everything. Yeah. Oh, we can. Oh, have, we can. We have three. Yeah. All right, me and Willow are gonna share a mic, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I think I tightened it enough that it'll stop falling down. Hopefully. Josie, we're gonna share this mic. <laughs> so, what do you guys think about Amy Klobuchar? <laughs> 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 You're looking right at me as though I like have something. How can you tell? I'm wearing sunglasses. No, you, Cal. I'm not the bear. <laughs> Did you get drunk to celebrate her winning third place or something? She's got momentum now. She's the new front runner. Since she so. went fourth in, in New Hampshire, she's going places yeah, now. Yeah, at this rate, next time she'll win second. Yeah. That's how it works, right? It's okay. As long as we get a brokered convention, she can beat Bloomberg. <laughs> there you have it. Well, there you have it. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Straight from the bear's mouth. <laughs> so, the skirts, huh? You guys play some music, don't you? We try. Yeah. Incorrect. Fake news. <laughs> it's fake news. Your fake news. Your fake news. Oh. Your fake news. Oh, no. We gotta take this off the air. <laughs> this is getting take heated. This outside. It's That's getting where we heated. Take this. Nice, uh, nice ukulele you got That's, there. That's okay. Now those are fighting <laughs> words. Are those are fighting nice words. Right. This is a mandolin. <laughs> it's a what? It's a man. <laughs> it's a mandolin. What is that? It's like a violin, is but you like use your mans. You're on a folk show and you don't know what a mandolin is. Why? How, why did Callum let you co-host? Yeah, bear. Come on. Because I'm get your, get way your... cuter than he is. That accurate. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Wow. Are you going to take that, Callum? No, I am not. I disagree with this. This is not a nice thing for Barry, the, you know, first anniversary first time <laughs> Valentine's Day drunken bear to say. Not a big fan. Anyway, thank you for, for your lovely interview skirts. Thank, thank you, you studio guys. audience. Next up, we've got Hollow River. Do you want to sit on this one or, or this one? I'll go on the taller one, I guess. Okay, the taller one. I'm a, I'm a taller person, so. Here you go. It's like the logical way to do it. Oh, why do I have so many things in my pockets? Yeah. Oh. See AJ on them. things on the ground. See AJ on them. Hells yeah. <laughs> Engineer, I'll put this in a place that I would put it. Put this in a place that I would put it. It, it might peak. Those mics are really hot. Ah, got it. Hot. Maybe I shouldn't put it there. Want yeah. me to put this away? Well, let's see what Peter says. Dig it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. Um, but yeah, my name's Mark. Um, uh, my friends call me Mark. I'm Hollow River on the the other things, uh, <laughs> on the onlines, I guess. Um, yeah, thanks for having me. This is really wonderful. Uh, Callum keeps on telling me it's not that big of a deal, um, but it was a big deal to me, and I'm really glad to be here, so thanks for having me. Uh, uh, double check that my, my tuning didn't completely screw up between walking from this room to the other room, and it did, naturally, as it would. It's a good thing I checked before I went into a three-minute song, and we all just sit here with the... Bad sounding guitar. Anyway, uh, this is a song about waking up and thinking you're gonna have a great day. It's gonna be awesome. And then you like, kind of like stub your toe and there's no hot water in the shower and then everything just starts going like, just really, really wrong. Um, and this is just about that. Just about having a crappy day. Waking up feeling great, everything's gonna go my way today I'm gonna hustle, get shit done before my mind decays Pray the clouds can stay away long enough to earn my pay Cause last time they came to visit, they left me on the couch for days And it's pretty hard to get a raise when you keep on calling in sick Cause your mind's in a daze Yeah, no way If I wasn't my best self before, I'd be better, can't be sure I got a lot of shit I need to answer for 
I wasn't my best self before well, I'd be better, can't be sure I got a lot of shit I need to answer for And I know I don't have much time when the dark clouds come I gotta say goodnight But it figures, it triggers Every day, but I don't care at all Cause when I see those dark clouds coming I promise you I'm gonna keep on running And pray I just don't fall Cause it figures It triggers I might stumble down the rabbit hole again an afternoon feeling good, just remember not to panic static Thoughts ought not to follow me if I stick to my new tactics Discs in my back shift like plate tectonics Surges through my spine like a fucking truck just drove on it As the pain becomes volcanic, is it any wonder lately that I've been a little manic Going from up high to down low to do slow I've got this urge lingering in my mind to try and jump out of the window Just to see if I could float, propel myself through the skies The only sound itself, just to get comfortable, I change to something else Open up my eyes and find I never left the couch The music sounds so nice, but I don't I don't vibe it with these lyrics. Hey, you critic, listen, things will take a turn if you give it just a minute. Yeah, give it just a minute. And I know I don't have much time. It's when the dark clouds come, I gotta say goodnight. But it figures, it triggers every day, but I don't care at all. Cause when I see those dark clouds coming, I promise you I'm gonna keep on running. And pray I just don't fall. Cause it figures, it triggers My stumble down the rabbit hole again Yeah! Thank you! Yeah, I right, keep on talking in the microphone anyway even though you told me to push it away. I'll push it away for there. I suck. Uh, habit, I guess. I'm like a, I'm like a producer engineer. I spend all my time in the studio. So if I, I'm like particular about wanting the microphone in a certain place and now I'm just like this is a different setup than I'm used to and I'm just going against all my better instincts um but this is super great anyway I'm apparently a folk rapper now so Ooh, I don't think you like it yeah. um it's a thing that happened I was writing this record last year it came out in October it was an EP it's called the bleed only water EP um and I just took this creative risk and there's one verse on it that was a rap verse and it was people's kind of favorite part of the EP, so I was like, I should do more of that, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is that song. Um, it's a rap about being sad and mozzarella sticks. So, you know, great combination. <laughs> Been having nightmares way too long. Reliving every moment that I think went wrong Kicking the people that held me up Telling myself I got here with just a bit of luck Trying to people I'm on my own When was the last time that I thought I should call home? It's been so long since I left town Would they even have me back after I break down? Uh-oh, uh-oh Yeah, where's my mind? I'm falling out again And I have nowhere I am So God knows when And I hurt my friends every now and then Push them away till I'm alone again And I know I can't go on like this Someone you want to forget, not miss I hurt my friends every now and then Push them away till I'm alone again Last week I cried over sticks of mozzarella Only then did I realize all the stress that I was under I wonder, all you people said things would get better Well you lied in my face like you lied with your letters No one wants to see another man become a ghost But there's better ways to help than another Facebook post Really want to help if you need to take an oath Start with invites to events you host I'm sick of trading one dark place for another Seeing the same shadows on the wall No out to these caves, only more fire So I'll drown my mind in alcohol Dull 
out the edges till I lose all my complexity Inward spiral down for miles till I find the end of me How they get so bad to eat, my family's fucking scared of me My sister keeps on calling saying maybe it's time for therapy Asking for help, it's a pretty rare event for me But sometimes the anxiety gets so bad that I can barely breathe Body shakes, lungs seize, no one cares, look at me Nobody gains clarity for free Where's my mind? I'm falling out again I have no where I am, some scout knows when And I hurt my friends every now and then Push them away till I'm alone again And I know I can't go on like this Someone you want to forget and not miss I hurt my friends every now and then Push them away till I'm alone again yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh, I'm banging on this thing, eh? Hey, I just gave away where I'm from. I'm like, so I'm from Canada. No one knows that because it's like, I go to Berkeley, there's a lot of international students. But all the Americans, unless they can hear an accent, they just assume like you're from another part of America that's not their part of America. But then as soon as I, my small talk comes out, it's like, oh yeah, you have a good day, eh? And they're like, <laughs> what? What did you say? I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, I'm not one of you. <laughs> it's a lie. I have citizenship. I'm a dual citizen. I get a vote. Dual so, so when when the bear asks me my opinion later, I'm supposed to have one <laughs> apparently. Um, so yeah. Um, ow. Also have tendonitis at the moment, so that the last one did a number on my hand a little bit. I wish I had like a big thing of ice to stick it in, but I don't. Someday. Come on. I'm playing everyone's favorite song I know, the tuning song. Love it. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Um, this is a new song. Uh, I played it the other night at the Lizard Lounge for the first time. Um, it's about lying to people. Don't do it. But this guy did, apparently, in the song. Uh, oh, wait. This one requires a capo. That would have been unfun for two, for three minutes. Anyway. Uh, I'll say I'm feeling fine. I've been known to lie. I've been going through hell called paradise. Ooh, I lie to you all the time I lie to myself too I'll Say whatever I need to get through Would you believe me if I told you that my phone died? No, not this time What if I said it was brought down by the landslide? Sit in my Jeep listening to Fleetwood Mac Parked up by the cliffside Water rushed past I reach for your call So wonder with the storm I had service at all But I missed it by a second Try to check it, write a message And then the car starts moving in I forget to send it And I think my brain blocks out most of the tumble Cause I just remember waking up among the rubble And sitting by myself in shock for a couple minutes cause a moment prior shit thought I was finished and since this existential crisis I've been walking in a daze isn't any wonder calling back slip my brain what hasn't rained in three weeks I could have sworn I saw it poor shit guess you've heard this lie before <laughs> Ooh, I say I'm feeling fine but I've been known to lie I've been going through hell called paradise Ooh, I lie to you all the time I lie to myself too Say whatever I need to get through Would you believe me if I told you I was taking my meds? Working hard, doing everything the therapist says? Nah, I wouldn't believe it either Fever dreams feature better theater than Broadway in the bleachers Yeah, you wouldn't believe me if I told you Aliens came down from space or maybe jumped through a portal They told me that I would save the human race But only if I stayed inside for 36 days straight Wait, you've heard that lie too? Well hold on a second, cause this next one just might be true I've got nothing to lose, shit, I've told that one too I've lied so much, came tell me the truth Proof is something that I loosely have But have you me? I won't have it at all But I'll claim that I have it Till somebody asks And suddenly the facts Come and break my fall Lies coat my throat Burn my tongue with propaganda Man, I can't stand another year Of the slander stranded vacuum Passive tactic Manic addicts Get me all up in the pen You think you can down the truth You know nothing about it It's easier to hear the bull of the And expose myself a fake So I'll just say Everything's alright To the next mistake Ooh, I'll say I'm feeling fine I've been known to lie I've been going through Hell called paradise Ooh, I lie to you all the time I lie to myself to Say whatever I need to get through Ooh, I say I'm feeling fine I've been known to lie I've been going through hell called paradise Ooh, I lie to you 
all the time Lie to myself to say whatever I need to get through Yeah! <laughs> Sweet! Thank you! Oh uh, yeah! So those are all my, my folk rappy songs. The second one is out in Spotify. The other two will be coming soon. Hall River, all those fun things. Uh, this next one, before I was in the folk rap thing, I was writing a lot of like more pop punk stuff. Um, so I also have an album out that's kind of like an acoustic pop punk. Imagine if like Smashing Pumpkins tried to make a, uh, like a folk album. It's like <laughs> nasally vocals over pop punk guitar. But it's just, <laughs> Not that Smashing Pumpkins is pop punk. Oh man, good thing this isn't on the internet. I'd have so many people mad at me. We're on Facebook Live right now. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're on CCTV and Facebook Live though. No, no. What it's awful reaction to that though. <laughs> no, it's a folk punk wholesome group. Everything's gonna be super nice. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm in Canada. I can't take the meanness. No. <laughs> we love you. We have lots of Canadians over. Yay. Sweet. Um, yeah, so this is a song called September. Um, it's about uh, just uh, being in uh, a relationship with someone or something uh, that you just know has an expiration date. Um, <laughs> that's how it starts in the album. It's not. <laughs> If we are caught in the eye of the storm, you are surely the iris. Your beauty has a way of binding, even total darkness. If we're in the eye, you say that I am the heart, that's why I'm so out of place. Maybe that's why I just can't read the look upon your face. And I know we can't stay forever. But maybe just a little while You can use me till September And then we'll go back to your world So higher than mine, it's fine I dilate my demons, keep them satisfied Till then, you can use me till September Oh God, let that be the end You saw the place of my heathen soul Stretch up to the sky the heat from all this passion could burn any lesser man alive. You saw me grow from a spark to a flame, a world crumbling below. But just as quick I fade away until all that's left is afterglow. And I know we can't stay forever, but maybe just a little while. You can use me till September Then we'll go back to your world so higher than mine It's fine, I dilate my demons, keep them satisfied till then You can use me till September Oh God, let that be the end Oh God, let that be the end Oh God, let that be the end. Let that be the end. And I know we don't stay get together. Haven't seen each other in a while. Signed aside in last December. Afterglow wasn't worth your life or mine This time it's not fine I dilate my demons, keep them satisfied till when You can't use me in September Spend my life recovering And I know we can't stay forever But maybe just a little while You can't use me till September and then we'll go back to your world so higher than mine It's fine, I dilate my demons, keep them satisfied till when You can't use me in September I'll spend my life recovering And let that be the end Thank you! Do this. <laughs> <laughs>
Bix. And Bear. Bix and Barry. Barry and Bix. I don't know who Bix is. Oh, my bad. I don't know who that is. So are you are you Mark or are you Hollow River? I is contain Hol- multitudes. Is Hollow River like is Hollow your first name and River your last name? Do you guys just have weird names up in Canada? Yes, indeed. I, I was in a town of thirty people. My neighbor was Standing Rock. It was not not at all. I, I grew up in the city. Was the town called? <laughs> I grew up- <laughs> you grew up in at what city? I grew up in Mississauga, in- which is a Awesome place, but a terrible name because no one can pronounce it. Actually, it's an amazing name. Only the people there from there can pronounce it. So, <laughs> Massasaugus? Mississauga. 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 She sounds That's hot. It. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> she must be taken, though, right? With a name like Mississauga. Yeah, yeah. I think she's dating Trudeau or something. Ah, yeah. dating Trudeau. <laughs> yeah. Isn't he the married guy? Yes. In the brown face? Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's enough. That's enough. Thank Go you, MVP. Mark McDonald. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to keep this one short just because we've only got Canadian like 15 politics. minutes left in the show. And we have to do our competition se- section now. <laughs> he looks pretty comfortable, right? <laughs> I'm not wearing underwear. (laughs) (laughs) I can tell. All right, guys. Uh, We have now come to the portion of our show in which all of our contestants have to make up a song. Now, if you have ever been here before or you've watched our show before, you know that at the end of every episode of Folked Up, everybody has to make up a song about a topic of our choice. This time, the topic is going to be Valentine's Day. So you have to write a song about Valentine's Day. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to... No. Yeah, you have to write a song about Valentine's Day. Oh, I like the heart <laughs> fact there. Um, you have to write a song about Valentine's Day, but you don't win the competition by writing a great song about Valentine's Day. You win the competition by following an extremely arbitrary mystery rule that uh, I come up with before the show starts. Um, so everybody who's played tonight, you guys have to close your eyes. Close your, yeah, don't look. Critique. Yeah, okay. Now, every, everybody else in the audience, this is the mystery rule. Can we get a camera on this? Yeah? Mm. Does, does everybody see this? Yeah, yeah. Everybody except for the people who aren't supposed to see this? Right. They're How not seeing this? Okay. <laughs> Now, if you, <laughs> you guys can look again. Now, if you can figure out what the mystery rule is, then you can win this amazing certificate of authenticity nice. that certifies that you wrote a song that followed the mystery rule. <laughs> We've got another. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to write a song about Valentine's Day. Let's pick a chord here. <laughs> Well, I was lonely until I met my true love on the first episode of Folked Up on CCTV. And then we were together forever, but not quite forever, maybe just for one year, because now it's the first anniversary of Folked Up on CCTV. We love CCTV, we go there all the time. In fact, every month we go to Folked Up on CCTV. We've only been on 12 dates so far, but she's the one for me. You know that it's 12 dates because this is the first anniversary of Folked Up on CCTV. I met my true love watching idiots with guitars. Singing songs, and we also saw a woman once named Mars. She was also pretty good at guitar. I think she'll go pretty far. But I don't think she's ever dated anybody with the same name as my lover, because my lover's name is Lars. And I don't know what else I'm gonna rhyme here. (laughs) But it's Valentine's Day! The first anniversary of CCTV fucked up 
And I got her a lovely Valentine's Day bear named Barry. But then he went through all the nips in our liquor cabinet. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> all right, first up in the competition, we've got Pratik Padar. So on a scale of 1 to 10, how much am I overthinking this? <laughs> Probably 10. <laughs> Generally, that's the answer. Yup. <laughs> it's usually what happens when you have anxiety. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes, of course, I'm stalling. <laughs> Also, these are new strings. What do you want from me? <laughs> new strings for a new song. <laughs> this song is very short. <laughs> Class for Pratik who just disqualified himself in such unbelievable style. <laughs> All right, next up we got the skirts. That was awesome. I'm, oh, I don't think that through at all. Yes, power move. <laughs> Valentine's Day? Yeah. Okay. You pick the feel because you're the drummer, so give us a beat. about time but now we're we're doing fine. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. He's just not happy. Barry's with my just gonna wake up with a black eye tomorrow. He went through a lot of this. <laughs> <sighs> I have two picks. That was my thing. That's disgraceful. I'm like really hoping the string doesn't break on me right at If this it moment. breaks, it's part of the song. Part yeah. of the song. That should be a rule sometime. You have to break a string. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <coughs> That's still not in tune. What is wrong with this guitar? I need to live up to the high standards of CCTV, guys. <laughs> Um, so, uh, yeah, sure, uh, 
I'm not gonna be able to sing in that key. Do you ever wonder why so many people are born in November? <laughs> when I remembered that nine months before November is Valentine's Day. <laughs> and they boned, and they boned, and they boned, and they boned on Valentine's Day. <laughs> While watching CTV And your parents moan on Valentine's Day And your grandparents moan on Valentine's Day Callum may have boned on Valentine's Day If maybe he's spending on Pornhub I don't know him that well <laughs> I should get to know him better Before I say this on TV <laughs> But I just did, so take that. <laughs> Fuck it. Sorry. Talking about my masturbating habits. Well, I, did that count? Did that? I don't know. So the rule was that you have to reference the first anniversary of Folked Up on CCTV. I don't think that did count, because you didn't reference the anniversary. If you had been like, they boned on Valentine's Day and it was the first episode of CCTV ever. <laughs> Or like they watched the first episode of Folked Up on CCTV on Pornhub. I tried. <laughs> but so this is actually the first. This is the first time that nobody's won. What? What do we do? <laughs> Rip it up. The bear wins. Yeah. The the bear wins. What's this bear gonna do with a certificate of authenticity? <laughs> there should be a certificate of authenticity for the bear. Well, I I give it to everyone when they all win. Okay, you know what? We're, we'll do. The audience wins today. We're gonna do confetti. There goes my guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Can so, does somebody want to come up and talk on this mic while I tear this thing up? Because I feel weird just like standing here. It's confetti. You want me to tell jokes? Yeah, tell jokes. Come on, come on up. Let's have another round of applause for Mark McDonald. Actually, you guys all come up. Everybody who played, come up on stage. Have you heard the joke about the cookie? What's the joke about the cookie? Irish crummy. Oh, oh, crummy joke. Oh, Oof. <laughs> Our producer, Peter Levine, didn't like it. He's just trying to, tell me, trying to tell me this is taking too long. But we still have four minutes left on the clock, Peter. How are you guys going to fill up the time at like 12 o'clock at night on like a Sunday on Cambridge Community Television if you don't have an hour and a half of programming? <laughs> Uh, he's, he's, I don't know if anybody could hear that. He said he was bored. <laughs> All right, we almost have confetti. Do you guys have anything to say to Barry the Bear? What? No, you guys. Very nice. Yeah, it's your chance. He's like obviously passed out. So. I hope he gets the help he needs. I hope yeah. he gets the help he needs too, but it doesn't look like that's in the cards yeah. today. Party on, Barry. Party on. Mark is Mark. a man after my own heart. <laughs> Somebody needs to go to Al Anon. Yeah, oh man. Poor Barry. Sorry this takes so long. This is like. <laughs> this is terrible. Anyway. Thank you so much, CCTV, for having us. Thank you, our producer, Peter Levine. Thank you, Josh, for being our director. Thanks, everybody in the studio audience. Thank you, Skirts. Thank you, Pratik. Thank you, other Skirt. Thank you, Mark. And let's all have a great Valentine's Day!